thought maybe those uh, scratch drops would uh, kick in by now, but I'm not really feeling any sort of boost in energy. So. What's up? It is a lot colder than I thought it was gonna be today. And it's raining. So I don't know how much uh, video I'm actually gonna be able to get. Yeah, it's just it's just a cold, nasty day. It's not, um, probably shouldn't wipe the lens with a gator, but whatever. I thought today was gonna be nice. You always hope that it's gonna be nice on the weekends. Um, but typically it isn't. <laughs> Not here. Not here in Indiana. It's gonna be muddy as crap, so I'm putting on these gators just so that I can maybe stop a little bit of mud from going down my shoes. Wearing the superiors today, still muddy from my last run. I'm out here at the, uh, what's this place called? The Celery Bog. And it's got some trails. They're not like great. I mean, they're, they're, they are great. They're really well maintained. But what I mean by not great is for a trail runner. It's usually really crowded here. More than half of the trails have mulch on them. It's actually really, like really fast. So if you're out here looking for some trails that you can kind of speed down, not a whole lot of climbing at all. Trails that you can run fast on, this is a good place to come. Oh my gosh, what's up? My watch has to do an update. I don't know how much I'm actually gonna film out here. Um, Cause especially, I mean, if it's raining, like my GoPro is waterproof, but the gimbal is not. Um, this camera, it's not waterproof. I don't know how much running is gonna be in this video. I do have some cool stuff to talk about. So I signed up for the Owen Putnam State Forest 50K, uh, which is down in, uh, Owen Putnam State Forest. I don't know what town's close to it, <laughs> um, but uh, it's about an hour and a half south of here. I think it's in like five weeks. I just needed something on the calendar, kind of like what I was talking about last week, about how, uh, like I need goals on the calendar um, for that extra drive to get out the door in the morning or out here in the mud like today. So I'll be doing that 50K here in about five or six weeks and, but uh, we'll see. Huh, my watch is done. Okay, so I'm gonna get running now. Um, and uh, I'll talk more about that race maybe here in a little bit. <sighs> so now I'm waiting for my heart rate strap to start working. Yeah, I don't know how much I'm gonna film out there because it's pretty wet and rainy, misty. And although I don't love this gimbal I have very much for the GoPro, I also don't wanna ruin it and not have a gimbal. So I'm gonna be careful. And there might not be a whole lot of of like running stuff in this video, but that's okay. Sometimes there won't be. Anyway, gonna get going. See you in a bit. Bye.
Okay, right at one hour, five and a half miles. Starting to get pretty hungry. I'm gonna try these Scratch Labs fruit drops. These are actually really old. These were in one of my drop bags at Grindstone. They're still good. There's 80 calories in five pieces. You want it to be light stuff for the first couple hours, and then you can start eating like regular food or things like this, like uh, these like goo waffles, uh, something like that. Maybe after two and a half hours or so, have the waffle, or maybe just have it on the way home after I'm done. First hour or two, not much of anything. You know, maybe a little bit after an hour when you start feeling a little hungry or something. After two hours is when you want to start paying attention. A couple hundred calories per hour of whatever doesn't make your stomach hurt, honestly. Today's actually been, it's been kind of fun because when it's muddy a lot of times, you just don't want to go out. You'd rather stay in your house, nice, warm, dry house and just relax, maybe put on some Netflix. As soon as you start running around in this mud, it's actually really fun. There's not anyone else running or walking out here right now. It usually is, but um, it's not a very nice day. That's all, I'm gonna start running again. For 13 today. I'm gonna do it. I wanted to get into this race down in Indy, uh, half marathon at Eagle Creek. I was looking at it this week, but it was already sold out. Why not come here and do a half marathon? Why not? focused but it's been good you know I'm gonna finish this up muddy day not bad look at that no mud inside Okay, so that was a great run. Uh, 13 miles. Um, this place is a really cool uh, area. Used to be a uh, glacier lake, it's like kind of like a swamp. I don't know. 13 miles. Feel pretty good about that. Like I said earlier, I signed up for a 50k, and I think it's in five weeks. I need to start upping my long runs a little bit, but that's kind of why I signed up for it because, like I was saying in my video last week, um, I was just kind of lacking motivation a little bit. Wasn't having a whole lot of fun on that run. So I'm excited to sign up for a race. I think it's March 24th, five weeks or so, uh, 50K. And then as soon as I signed up for it, I posted it online and, uh, wow, that was close. As soon as I signed up for it, I posted online saying that I was doing that race and a bunch of people replied back saying that uh, they had done it before and it was fun, but one thing about it is most of it is on horse trail and there's horse crap everywhere. <laughs> That's uh, that'll be different. Never had to dodge horse crap for 50K, so that's gonna be fun. Five weeks, gotta get ready. But that's one of the reasons why, I won't, you know, I need some motivation. That's what's happening. I think it's gonna start warming up here soon. 
over the next couple weeks. Today it was like, I think it was like 35 degrees or something. Uh, warm enough that it wasn't frozen or snowing, but it was raining most of the day. I think it's gonna start warming up. I think so, which is gonna be awesome because it's gonna be so much better for running. Feel good about today. I feel good. At mile seven or eight, I was thinking maybe pack it in, go home, eat some food, you know. Then I just kept, you know, kept going, kept pushing, you know, fueled a little bit. The whole time I was drinking Tailwind. I love that stuff. Never had a problem with Tailwind. 13 miles was in the cards today, so went for it. And uh, it was fun being out in the mud and it's all good. When you're sitting at home thinking about going for a run and you know it's gonna be muddy out there, you don't like it. And as soon as you get out here, it's like you're playing and all of a sudden it's like you're a kid again. <laughs> so that's it. Um, we're gonna go home, get some food. Um, starving. Um, there's a lot of new people that have been subscribing to this channel recently, which is awesome. Really cool. So welcome all of you new people. If you haven't seen some of the stuff that I did last year, training for Grindstone, go ahead and check those videos out. Right now, I think it's 29 weeks or 28 weeks or something. I think it's 29 weeks out from Run Rabbit Run out in Colorado. That's what I'm training for right now. Oh, actually, also, we are going to reserve our Airbnb today. I think we're gonna be out there for like a whole week, which I'm really pumped about. So that's all, thanks for joining. Leave a comment down below. I love talking with you guys. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you again next week. Bye.